the very beginning of One Piece, we got the backstory for Zoro, and in his backstory, we meet his childhood friend named Kuina. Now, Kuina is stronger than Zoro in the backstory, and so, most readers are very skeptical when they find out she fell down some stairs. Because there are really three trains of thought regarding Kuina falling down some stairs. One, it's actually just censorship and Oda's way of implying that she committed suicide. Two, she literally just fell down some stairs and died. And three, Kuina is actually alive. There are many people who still believe Kuina and Tashiki are the same person, even though this has been debunked multiple times. But today, I don't want to talk about the possibility that Kuina is alive. In fact, I want to talk about why I am positive Kuina is dead forever. Which is because reintroducing Kuina into the story presents a very difficult problem for Oda as a writer, considering the themes he was trying to get across in the Zoro flashback. In the Zoro flashback, Kuina thinks herself that because she is a girl, one day Zoro will be stronger than her, and she can never become the world's greatest swordsman. Her father, Koshiro, is a raging misogynist to the point that it had clearly affected Kuina's self-esteem immensely. She's an ambitious little girl who is having her dreams torn away and destroyed and stepped on by her sexist father. She's also talented and has plenty of drive and wants to prove to the world after her conversation with Zoro that she can truly become the world's greatest swordsman. This essentially makes Kuina the underdog in this situation. Especially when you consider there is a lot of examples of people being sexist and looking down on women in One Piece. It makes Kuina the underdog. It makes her the person you want to root for. She's being told by her own father and the people that matter to her that she can't achieve her dream. And then her best friend is encouraging her and pushing her forward and telling her she can do it. Or at the very least, one of them will do it. Zoro is obviously saying he's going to be the world's greatest swordsman, but he's saying she has just as much of a chance of it as he does. And this is where we run into the problem. Kuina being the underdog, Kuina being the one that you're made to want to root for, creates a difficult problem with it. How do you reintroduce Kuina into the story without one, having made her give up on her dream, or having made her be correct? She is unable to become the world's greatest swordsman, and Zoro will be stronger than her. I just don't see, from a writing perspective, how you could reintroduce Kuina, continuing off a storyline about a young girl dealing with sexism, and then have a man surpass her and achieve her dream and stop her from achieving it. I don't really see how Oda could swing that story without either one, validating what Koshiro was saying, which would be incredibly sexist, or making Kuina just look bad and giving her a really shitty ending. Because are we really going to reintroduce Kuina so she can get beat up by Zoro, lose? fail to achieve her dream, prove her father right, and have Zoro become the world's greatest swordsman instead of her? Besides for that, what would the purpose of Kuina coming back be? Because the only one I can think of would be so she can reunite with Zoro, fight him, and he can finally defeat her. But while that does a lot for Zoro as a person, and may be fulfilling for fans of his character, I don't really think that's a very good message, and I don't really think that's the message Oda wants to give with the character of Kuina. Because Koshiro is clearly supposed to be wrong in the flashback. He's clearly supposed to be a jerk. I think it's pretty clear the more you read with him when it has to do with his daughter, that he's not a very great man. In Chapter Zero, he literally said Kuina can't inherit his dojo because she's a woman. He even seems to imply that he's a little disappointed he had a girl. And don't get me wrong, I understand why people want Kuina to come back and be this really badass sword woman who is like the strongest female sword user in the theory. But the more I look at it, the more I think it just doesn't make any sense given the context of the flashback. Kuina coming back wouldn't bring anything to the table, and it wouldn't do any good for really anybody but Zoro, maybe. And even then, what does it do for Zoro besides make his backstory less sad? All it really accomplishes is sending a really bad message and validating the opinions of a sexist old man. And it's clear that you're not supposed to agree with Koshiro. You're supposed to emphasize with Kuina during the flashback, so I just don't see what her returning would accomplish beyond really making making a whole mess of a lot of different things. Kuina returning to me sounds like one of those things that just sounds really cool on paper. As I said earlier, would it be really cool to have a swordswoman who can fight equally with Zoro, 
maybe even give him a really hard time even after he beats Mihawk. Yeah, that would be cool, but it would also be cool if Luffy one-shotted Kaido in that chapter. I'm sure you could make it look really cool, that doesn't mean Oda should do it. I think it's a case where people typically just think on a surface level, wouldn't it be neat if Kuina was alive? She could become a really cool fighter. And they don't really think from a narrative or thematic perspective what you could do with that character besides her return just being cool and mainly explaining how she quote unquote fell down some there. Even though I actually think it's pretty likely Kuina just committed suicide and Oda was a relatively new writer in Jodan Jump, a magazine aimed at children and couldn't get away with saying it. Yeah, this was definitely a much shorter video than normal, but I did just want to talk about why I don't think Kalina will ever return. But let me know everything you think about what I talked about in the comments down below. If you like what you're seeing on the channel, you can check out my PayPal, which is also linked down below, as is my Twitter. If you want to see more of my video, remember to hit subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload. Leave the video a like and have have a fantastic day.